Moses Harmon October 12, 1830 to January 30, 1910, was an American schoolteacher and publisher notable for his staunch support for women's rights. He was prosecuted under the Comstock Law for content published in his anarchist periodical Lucifer the Lightbearer. He was arrested and jailed multiple times for publishing allegedly obscene material. His daughter, Lillian Harmon, was also a notable anarchist. Topic. Biography Moses Harmon was born on October 12, 1830 in Pendleton County, West Virginia to Job and Nancy Harmon. Their family later moved to Crawford County, Missouri. Harmon taught subscription school courses and attended Arcadia College. After completing his schoolwork, Harmon worked as a Methodist circuit rider and teacher. Harmon married Susan Scheuch in 1866. Although they had several children, only two survived and Susan died in childbirth in 1877. Harmon left the ministry and began his involvement with eugenics and social reform following Susan's death. In 1881, Harmon edited the Kansas Liberal newspaper in Valley Falls, Kansas. Harmon has been credited as one of the founders of what became the eugenics movement. He gave the spur and start to this effort. Through his journals, Lucifer, the Light Bearer, later renamed the Eugenic Magazine, encouraged by a small circle of earnest men and women, he dug down below the surface endeavoring to bring forth a stronger and better type of men. In 1881, Harmon co-edited the Valley Falls Liberal, and eventually became the editor. On August 24, 1883, Harmon changed the name of the publication to Lucifer, the Light Bearer. He moved the location of the newspaper several times for financial and philosophical reasons, to Topeka, Kansas in 1890, to Chicago in 1896, and to Los Angeles in 1908. The name of the paper also changed to the American Journal of Eugenics in 1906. Articles published in Lucifer discussed topics such as religion, relationships, and raising children. Through his work, Harmon rejected all forms of religion and government, including marriage, and promoted freedom, love, wisdom, and the use of knowledge. Due to the radical nature of his views and publication, Harmon constantly dealt with lawsuits, charges of immorality, ridicule, and issues with mailing what was considered obscene material through the United States Postal Service. Consequently, Harmon was sentenced and released by court several times in the 1890s. He died on January 30, 1910, aged 79, in Los Angeles. <laughs> 